just subscribe for more. moisturizing primer you guys seen this in all my get ready with me videos so kind of like sped up that part so now I'm going to be applying foundation I will be using my Milani conceal perfect two-in-one foundation and concealer in the color amber I did two pumps of that on the back of my head and what I'm going to do is just apply that to my face this consistency is a bit thick, so um, I'm just going to spot treat it real quick. Just real quick. I'll be using my blend beauty blender for this step, but everything else I'll be using my royal brushes. I recently got some awesome brushes that I'm going to be trying out in this video, so I'm so excited to share them with you and give you guys my thoughts. They're really affordable as well and they come in awesome packaging. So yeah, you guys will see in a little bit. So I'm going in with this angle brush and it's called Brow. So if you guys are going to be looking on the website and you guys want this angle brush, it is the brow brush. And I'm just going to be lightly filling that in. Any sparse areas that I see on my brow. I do have a brow tutorial up on my channel if you guys want a more in-depth one. To apply my concealer and glue my brows, I'm going in with the lip brush and I'm going to just conceal that brow. And you guys, you don't always have to use brushes what they're made for. I mean, you can use them for other stuff on your face. This is doing really well. Like, I love the qualities of these brushes. They are 100% vegan. As you guys know, like, I'm like converting over to veganism. If that's a thing, veganism. Going in with my flat top foundation brush and I'm just blending out any harsh edges around my brow. Just cleaning that up so it's nothing is, you know, everything is blending seamlessly. I absolutely love how dense this brush is. It's like blending out the product seamlessly. Like you guys know, like this is a big issue around this eye right here because you don't want any harsh edges or any harsh lines. I'm just applying my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and I am just going to blend that out with my blending brush. Well, my beauty blender. Someone is hungry. And the best way to blend underneath your eye is with a damp beauty blender. And also, to use soft tapping motion, you don't want to be overly aggressive. Just keep patting and I pat like this for like five minutes or so, like. I just wanna make sure everything is seamless. I also like to turn my beauty blender the opposite way from when I applied my foundation because that's going to evenly blend out since it is a my skin tone color. It's gonna help blend out the color, the highlight better. I'm going in with my Afro Banana Powder and using my powder brush and I'm just going to add some product there and apply to all the areas that I highlighted in my face. I actually love how this 
brush is setting in my powder. This quality is amazing. I never used vegan brushes before, but I absolutely love the application of them. So, so far, so good with these brushes. I'm going in with Molly, and it's my contour palette, and I'm just going to grab this warm shade, this bronze shade or tan shade, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to apply that to my cheekbones. Next, I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics Contour Palette. And I'm grabbing this shade and this shade right here and mixing those two together and applying that to the contour areas with that same powder brush. To contour my nose, I'm going to be using the Smoky Eye Brush. And I'm using this brush because I just love how dense this is and I absolutely love how fluffy so I know this is going to do the job. I'm going with my Tarte Let palette and this is the Crease Smudge Brush. It's like a dual sided ended brush. I'm going to grab Wander and that's like a nice transitioning shade for like all skin tones and I'm just going to apply that to the crease. Nothing too fancy or special. I'm just applying this so it can give me a little bit more depth and warmth to my eyes and I love how it blends out this color like wow well, I didn't have to blend that long I love this brush the same brush I'm going to grab a dreamer and apply that to like the inner crease or just to the crease area just right in that little crevice it's right there girl getting that just getting that hole all up like a little dust bunny so I'm going in with that shader brush and I'm just going to blend out that smokiness so there's like no harsh edges I'm going to use this flat brush it's a concealer brush but I'm going to be using this as an eyeshadow for my lid like to apply the eyeshadow so I'm going to go in with free spirit it's like this nice kind of beige creamy color and I'm just going to apply that to my lid Jouer Jouer sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong but it's the kit and wire and it's paraben free and it's longwear as well this will be my first time trying this out I'm gonna go in with my Jordana cat liner. Get ready to kill somebody with that wing, girl. I'm going in with my Makeup Forever Professional Paris, and this is the Aqua. The aqua one with all the light eyeliners, Aqua XL. And I'm grabbing this white one and I'm going to be carving out my crease. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of build that up and just keep making it the shape of my crease. Then I'm just going to add a little, little dots right here. So I'm going in with my NYX Avant Pop. I'll go back in with that brow brush from Royal and I'm just going to grab this white shade just to define that color a little bit more because as you guys can see, I have foundation on, so I just want to make that as more opaque as I possibly can. Now I'm going in with my Benefit Their Real Mascara. I'm going to be coating my top and bottom lashes. 
aquí. So I'm going in with a powder brush. I had so many of these. And just showing you guys the packaging, look at this. It comes with this packaging. I have like all the brushes on here. Super awesome. So I have like four, I have like four of these like all right here lined up on my vanity desk. So I'm gonna grab this cargo in Laguna. And it's this, it's a um, powder blush. I'm just grabbing a little bit and applying it to the apples on my cheeks. For highlight, I'm going with my City Color blush, highlight, and bronzer, and I'm going to grab that highlight right there. To blend that highlight out, I'm going to go in with my dual fiber brush. I'm gonna blend that out. Make sure everything is blending seamlessly. I'm going in with my City Color Lip Liner in Coffee. I love this, oh my god, this is my everyday lip. You guys always ask me what's on my lips. And this is what I use, I use the City Color Lip Liner. Then I'm going in with my Aqua Kathleen Lights Miami Fever. Yo, I've been rocking this like every single day. Well, whenever I wear my makeup. <laughs> I've never been the same. I've never been the same.